Let's see how this works. Soaked up all the liquid that Howdy folks, I am Martha and I welcome you to Hershberger's Miracle Homestead. The video today is to be featuring Miss Juliana. She's expecting puppies and we are getting the kennel area ready in the house for her to come in and the initial coming in we bring Theo the daddy to the puppies in with her and he's usually in for an hour or two and then he's ready to go back outside. Juliana and I are spending some time going to get the mail and stuff like that. Then we'll also end up in the kitchen to see what yumminess Dorothy's cooking up for supper. So we hope you enjoy the glimpse of Hershberg's Miracle Homestead outside of the in the kitchen. <laughs> Although in the kitchen makes it so nice because that we are in there and Buddy's in there with us and yeah. And without further ado, we will jump into the video. Okay, so this is the kennel fencing. And we have the big clips here. We will clip it to the kennel itself. It opens at the end here that I can let her in and out. As I said, to begin with, we'll let Theo in too with Juliana, he doesn't feel left out. And time will come that he will be out to stay out because he's not in the house when the puppies are here. And then this opens up like this. So here I'm putting a bungee cord, attach it, come around the table leg, attach it to the kennel fence. And now to wrap it around the table leg several times, this way. Now that'll keep her, we should still be right here with us. Now to proceed with the kennel itself, when they're not using it, I use it for storage sometimes. Here's my boots. I'm going to be pulling toys out of here now that's in here from them. And then I have a big beach towel I'm going to put down. These balls are balls that they bring in with them when they come in from the outside. This grabber makes it very handy. Okay, so the big beach towel. And now we can throw some of the toys back in. Well, some of them can stay out too as far as that goes. Okay, you'll be able to see their initial reaction when they come in. Theo and Juliana, you may come in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Down, down. Hey, Theo. Yeah. You be a proud papa again? Uh-huh. Move my monitor down a little bit. This right here is my workstation. And many times she gets up here and her paws on my arm can get heavy. Yes, I know. I know. I love you too. Good girl. What you got, Theo, huh? Yeah. Good girl. This is your last litter, Juliana, and then you're going to retire from having puppies. Yes, and then we don't plan to have any more puppies here on the homestead because all our females are retired. Yes. Yeah, Martha loves you too. She does.
She knows where we feed her special food. When we open this gate, she makes a beeline there to see if it's there. You always do so good. As energetic as you are. You do an awesome job taking care of your babies. Yes. It's hilarious. So the other week we had her in. And it was just her and I taking her out front to go potty. And while we were out there, someone drove in the lane and they were going to come in the house. We knew it was our sister-in-law. So I thought, well, I'll get Giuliani in ahead of them. But she came barreling up the ramp. Now, she's a barker, but she came barreling up the ramp, did not bark. I opened the door and she made a beeline for this right here. And this area was her security. Once she was in here, she turned around, looked at the door and barked. <laughs> Didn't you? That just cracked me up. You were had one place in mind when you came in, and that was to get to your security spot. Yes, that's right. That tells me I need to go take care of my buddy. That's right. Uh-huh. Okay. Settle down and get a good rest now because you've got pay puppies to take care of. They're not born yet, but you still need to take care of them. Then later we're going to have a good bath. Yeah, you just came in from the outside now. Later we'll have a good bath. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right, Martha, let's go take care of Buddy. Have to harness up. All right, we're going to go outside and go potty. I know. I know. You love this being pregnant because you're in the house. Uh-huh. Guess what? The mail went. We can go out and get the mail, too. No, they didn't. Sometimes they do, don't they, Juliana? So, we'll... Boy, it's a bunch of acorns on the ground here. Wonder if the hogs are gonna find it. They came around one time eating acorns. Yes, they did. Choke up on the leash. Okay, stop, let's look. I can see long distance both ways. If I see anything coming at all, I wait. But Everything's in the clear. So we will come over and get the mail. Oh, was there a different vehicle that came? It sure was. Oh, I have some more orders here for books, I do believe. It's that size of the envelope. Yeah. I think we might have three orders here, Juliana. I better get a, stop being excited and get off the road because there's a vehicle coming now. Come, Juliana. Thank you. Good girl. Good girl. You're always good when we come out here, aren't you? Yes. Kansas, Ohio, and Georgia. I think it might be orders for books. You might wonder what book that is. That is the book that we wrote on our family's journey with my twin brother, Marvin. He's known as Buddy, and he's our special brother. And it's a story from when we were born to up to through 62, I guess it was. So, yeah, mom and dad did not tell anyone that they were expecting twins. Back then, they didn't do ultrasounds to know for sure, but the doctor said it's either twins or one big baby. So, they didn't tell anybody, and they had already had four boys and one girl. So, of course, who doesn't it wish for a little sister for the one girl? Well, when they rushed to the hospital and had us, Buddy weighed 8'3", and I was 6'10", and Daddy called his mom 
and said, well, we had a eight pound, three ounce boy. And she said, oh, that's nice, but I was hoping he could be a little girl. And dad said, well, we have her too. And she was 6'10". So that's a glimpse of the beginning of our book. And then the journey with Buddy, he's been a huge blessing to our family over the years. Very, very active as a youngster. Okay, Juliana, let's sit in the house and see where these, if these are sure enough book orders. This is a book I was talking about, celebrating 60 plus years of being a twin to a special needs brother. It is available on Amazon, which you have a link in the description box for it. But the orders that come in the mail are as a result of putting an ad in the budget. This is a, a paper that reaches out to over 50,000 people across America, the playing communities. And so we placed a, an ad in here and that's where the orders come through that we get through the mail. And sure enough, we had orders for our book because of our ad in the budget. So I thought I'd throw that little tidbit in. Well, while I'm out and about doing this and that and the next thing, I know Dorothy's in the kitchen coming up with lunch. So what you got cooking, Dorothy? Pepper steak. Adding the peppers to it now. They were frozen peppers, and we got a big skillet full here, too. It'll it be more than one. wonderful. And more than on. one meal. But, uh, yeah, it, it was simmering really nice a little bit ago, but with adding those cold peppers, why it... But get that up, get the peppers done, thicken it with cornstarch, and we'll be ready to go. Rice is in the oven. I think I'll add some more peppers to it yet. We like lots of peppers. It smells delicious. Oh, and by the way, a tip on cooking rice. You can do it in the oven. One cup of long grain rice to two cups of water, put it in a casserole dish, cover it tightly with tin foil, and put it in the oven on 350 for about 45 minutes to an hour. It depends how much you have, but um, it will cook right up and be very nice and fluffy. Ours will be ready to come out in about 10 minutes. Very good. Turn the burner up a little bit. And today has been a different day. And Martha has been busy with various things. One thing has been, you see a sour cream pound cake sitting over here cooling. We received a phone call uh, earlier this morning that they found out that someone had passed away and they would love to be able to take a sour cream pound cake with cream cheese icing to them this evening. And so Martha told them we will have it ready for them. And then we also had sourdough bread that we knew was on schedule earlier. And uh, we have orders for that as well. And she's also been busy with our Labradors. Juliana, our chocolate female, is due to have puppies. And so we're getting ready for the big event. Our labs always enjoy house time. But at the end of their pregnancy, they get to have house time all the time if that's what they choose. And that's what Juliana chooses. And she does often have a free roam of the house too. It's not always in her kenneled area in the dining room where, where you saw her. But um, she loves when Martha takes her out for potty breaks. <laughs> the pepper steak is cooking on the stove. It's just about ready to thicken. And the rice, I pulled it out of the oven. If you recall, I had told you how we had tried doing the rice today. So let's see how this worked. All righty. Look at that. Rice is all ready to go. It has, it soaked up all the liquid that was in there. And I had put beef broth to it. Okay, I'll finish up our pepper steak and we'll, we'll be ready to eat. There's a video on doing the pepper steak and we will have a link to that in the description box. As well as a sourdough bread, sour cream pound cake, and cream cheese icing. And there's our Miss Juliana. I'd taken her out potty and I just threw my jacket up there on the kennel. And I forgot about it until I noticed that when I was videoing Dorothy. I thought, oh no, my jacket's there. So, 
I saw her do this way and give an explanation. Ah, you'll be glad when these puppies are born, won't you? Uh-huh. Very good. Theo likes to come in for an hour or two every morning, and it always does our heart good to see them like this. Well, it certainly makes a big difference in the time of the day that we come out. This morning it was chilly, so I had my coat on, and now mid-afternoon we're up in the high 60s. Sun is shining, and it feels good. We just want to take this opportunity to thank you all for joining us on the homestead today. Our dogs are always fun and interesting for us, and we like to share it with you all, and I hope you enjoyed it. And we also want to give a hearty welcome to our new subscribers. We're excited that you're part of our YouTube family. Hope you enjoy it, and thank you to everyone who have commented and liked our videos and also shared it on your social media. All that helps our channel to grow, and we thank you. It's exciting to see it grow. And also, thanks for those who shop through our Amazon link. And Dorothy wanted to mention the grabbers. I, in working with the getting the kennel set up, you would see me use a longer grabber. But it, also, it comes in a set of two, the longer one and the shorter one. And Dorothy uses them a lot. She said anyone who has trouble with your back, which creates difficulty bending over, a grabber is the great assistance to you. So we did get them through Amazon, and we'll leave a link for them in the description box. Hopefully you have a strong back and don't need them, but if you do, it's wonderful to have these things to assist us. We thank you for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed this part of the video. And as always, we close with the golden thought. So now we invite you to stay tuned for the golden thought. Howdy folks, and welcome to the golden thought of this episode. We're the twins, Marvin and Martha. Marvin is our very special brother, and he's better known as Buddy. The golden thought for today, we are in the week of Easter. So our golden thought today is focused on that. In three days, the disciples went from hopelessness to hopeful, from devastation to celebration, from defeat to victory, because of the cross and then the empty tomb. Christ brings hope and victory to us and because of that we can celebrate Christ going to the cross not guilty but he chose to go because of our sins to redeem us from our sins it was a very painful event for him before he ever reached the cross and then to hang on the cross because of us and so because of the cross and the empty tomb the disciples went from hopelessness to hopeful and that's the same for us. Because of Christ in the empty tomb, we can go from hopelessness to hopeful. And we can celebrate our life in Jesus. We thank you for joining us today. Hope you've been blessed and inspired. And may God bless you on your journey. And with that, we'll bring this to a close. We thank you and God bless.